when anyone comes into a church, you come in for all sorts of reasons. Some people come in for the right reasons, some people come in for the wrong reasons. And the mind is where it's all at. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It's what you think. And uh, people like to dodge around the issues of what people think. Uh, but your life is governed by your thoughts. You'll act out what you're thinking sooner or later. Because that's the way life is. And when you start dealing with people all over the world, you, you discover that um, people are the same. And Christianity is about getting people to think right. Man's thinking and man's ways are so far off the mark. They miss the way, they don't understand. And by the natural mind, you cannot understand the things of God. The natural man is against God. God puts things on the earth and we don't even understand the value of them. Even in the natural things, man gets it so wrong. And when it comes to spiritual things, man has no hope of understanding it and he is a million miles from truth until the Holy Ghost births him from above and is transformed body, soul and spirit and mind and he's not the person he was born and he receives the life of God into himself and his whole nature changes. And if that hasn't happened, don't call yourself a Christian because you're not. It's that simple. You might go to church, you might be religious, but you're not a Christian. A Christian is someone who's born from above. A new life, a new start, a total transformation. A nature change. So many people are trying to be Christian. You can't live a Christian life. Only Christ can do that. A man is born totally depraved. Depravity is part of his nature. There's nothing good in man. By reason you can't know God. You can't understand anything. They haven't got a purpose. They're just living. And the only thing they want is happiness for themselves. Doesn't matter about lifestyle, morality. Doesn't matter about choice. They just live a meaningless life. And the end of it is a Christless eternity. And there aren't many people who care. And the only thing they care for is the love of money. In the end, whatever way you slice the pie, they're totally obsessed with things and possessions. If I see someone going to a Christless eternity, the best thing to do is wake them up. Hey, I don't want to be friends with the world. I really don't want to be friends with anything in the world. Because there's nothing in the world that I want, thank you. And Christians have to make a choice. 
You have to make a choice whose side you're on. Moses once asked the question, well, whose side are you on? Are you on the Lord's side? Who are you living for? What drives you? What motivates you? And today the church of Jesus Christ has lost its way. And people need to be brought back to the simplicity of truth. They need to be challenged. And it's not a matter of compromise. It's a matter of direct challenge. What am I living for? I see young